Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to add a new language pack in Knob Commerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. So in Knob Commerce, the best thing is that your store can have several languages installed. However, the customer will only see the data that has been defined in their selected language. So this way you can actually use your Knob Commerce site as a multilingual website that can be used by different uh, customers who are from different countries and locales. So in this tutorial, I will give you an overview of how you can add a new language pack on your Knob Commerce site other than English because then English comes as the default language on Knob Commerce. So to learn more about how to add a new language, let's go to the dashboard section in the administration area and go to configuration and languages. So here we can see that we have English language defined and installed on a Knob Commerce store site. In order to add a new language, you can get a new language pack from the Knob Commerce marketplace. So if you go to the Knob Commerce official website and go to downloads and let's go to marketplace. And within the marketplace, you can filter different products. In this case, we'll be looking into language packs. And here you can see all the different languages for different countries are listed here. And you can filter based on the version of Knob Commerce. And in this case, we'll be using 4.0. So here are all the language packs compatible with version 4.0. So for this example, I've already downloaded a um, Russian language pack. If you would like, I can show it to you. If I search Russian, Knobcommerce team has provided this language pack on the marketplace and it's available for free. So you just have to search for a language pack that you're looking for and click on the language and simply get extension and that will give you the zip file. So the name of your zip file may be different depending on the provider of your language pack. So in this case I got a zip file and I will simply extract it right here. And here you can see I got a language pack 4.0 as XML document. So this will be used in installing a new language pack on your Knob Commerce site. So now if you go back to the language section in the administration area, so here you can see we have English. In order to add a new language pack, simply add Add New. And here fill out the information. So in this case, we are installing a Russian language pack from the language culture I can select in this case um, we got this and unique SEO code this will be used for your URL so for an instance you can see here the unique two-letter codes will be added right next to the URL that'll be helpful in searching and optimization so in this case we will be adding RU for Russian. You can add a different SEO code depending on your requirements. Totally up to you. And flag name. We already have a flag image that comes for the knob commerce. Right to left if some languages require are basically written right to left. In that case you can uh, enable this option. In, in this case we won't we have to do that default currency so we have all these currency we can in this case we can select Russian ruble so when somebody changes the language on the public store the currency will automatically be changed as well limited to store if you have multiple stores running then you can limit a language pack to that specific store in this case we will simply keep it um, available for all the, the main store and you can simply make sure that it's published 
And since we already have English language, we can make it a secondary language in this case too. Um, just make sure that the display order first um, will always be the default language for your knob counter side. So in this case, I've added display order too. Save and continue. Okay, so once you have saved it, now you will get an option export and import. In this case, we will copy the path where we have downloaded the language pack. And right here, we will select it. And open it and import resources. It may take some time depending on your server or machine and that's it. The resource has been imported successfully. Okay, so now if you go back we can see English are, is our first primary language on the store and Russian is our secondary language. So if I go to edit, you can look into all the resource strings that came with the language pack. And here, if you like to change anything like text, uh, these are the resource names and values. So you can actually change the verbiage for any specific label or anything that you would like to change. So let's go to the online store in the public site and refresh the site. So here you can see, now we have two languages. A drop-down menu is showing up, and in this case, if I, let's say, I have English, if I select Russian, as you can see, all the titles and everything has been changed to this language. And and another thing that to keep in mind, if you remember when we went to configuration languages and we defined here, I'm just taking an example of English, you can see we have SEO code EN and our second language, we have another code which is RU. How to make use of this? Because right now, when you're changing language from English to Russian, there's no different difference in the URL of your store site. So in order to make a dedicated URL with this code for your store site for that specific language, you, you will have to go to in your dashboard, configuration, settings, and general settings. And within general settings, if you go down, there is a section called localization. And within this section, there is an option called SEO friendly URLs with multiple languages enabled. So you can see here, this is one example. It says yourstore.com slash en for English store, yourstore.com slash ru for Russian language store. So you can actually use these URLs specific to a language and this will help you in searching and optimization. And you do have option to, if you like NopCommerce, to automatically detect the language of the customer. So this what does is check to automatically detect language based on a customer browser setting. This is totally up to you if you like to use the settings, but in this case, if we enable this option and if I save it, and after saving, what I'll do is I will restart application. Because this has something to do with the URLs, it's just always good practice to restart your application after changes, making changes to this specific settings, because that is going to affect your website URL. So it may take some time to restart the application. And now that it 
everything is done. Let's go to the public store. Okay, so now that we are on the public store, if I show you the URL, you can see right here, it's, it says EN when English is selected. So if I go to any pages, that SEO code that we added while configuring the language will be added in the URL of your site. And if I change the language to Russian in this case, the SEO code will change to RU. And if I go to homepage, it'll be RU. So another way to advertise your site is simply that you can give your users your website slash RU for Russian customers and slash EN for English customers. And this is basically how you can manage your URLs uh, when you're working with more than one languages for a store site. And yeah, and this is how you can add a new language pack in AppCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by AppCommerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.